Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where we will teach you how to model loads and load combinations in STAD Pro Connect Edition. In this video, we're going to be focusing on the process of creating simple primary load cases. We will now turn our attention to our sample model. As you can see, our model has already been created in STAD Pro Connect Edition, and we are at the point in our workflow where we're ready to start loading our model. To start this process, we are going to go to our workflow page control and select the loading page. When this page is selected, you're going to notice your load and definition dialog is going to appear in the data area. We have three distinct sections within this dialog. The first is your load definitions area. This area will house any code prescribed loads that you're specifying for your model, such as code wind loads or code seismic loads. Beneath that, we have our load case details section. This section will contain all of your primary load cases that will be directly loaded on your model. And lastly, we have our load envelopes. Load envelopes are basically groups of load cases or combinations that will be used together for a particular purpose in STAD Pro. For this exercise, we're going to be focusing on creating some primary load cases, which will go in the load case details section. To create a primary load case, you're going to go to the loading tab in your ribbon toolbar and select your primary load case icon. Each load case is going to be assigned a number and a title, which you can specify yourself. My first load case will be for dead load. Once I've entered this information, it's also important to specify your loading type. The loading type is used to associate the load case with the code definitions of dead, live, wind, or seismic. This type of association is needed in order to make use of STAD Pro's facility for automatically generating load combinations in accordance with the code. For this first load case, we're going to be specifying it as a dead load. Once we've entered all the necessary load case information, we're going to click the Add button, and you can see that our dead load case has been added, and now load items can be added within this load case. Now, if you have additional load cases, you can create them at this time, or you can also come back and create them at a later time as well. So let's go ahead and enter our second load case, which we'll enter as Live Load, and we're going to specify our loading type to Live. Now what you're going to notice is that when you select live load, we have an additional option to specify whether or not this load is reducible per the UBC or IBC code. Now STAD Pro does have the ability to automatically account for live load reduction, but there are some limitations, so it's important to understand what those are. First of all, only the rules for live load reduction for floors have been implemented and not for roofs. Also, live load reduction will only be considered for beams uh, and not columns. The last thing that you should really be aware of is that live load reduction will only take place for load items that have been specified as a floor load or a one-way load. We don't have the ability to reduce your live loads for, say, nodal loads or other types of loads. So once you've specified your information for live load, you can click on your Add button. And then for this model, we'll also add some snow load. And again, you're going to specify your loading type. Now, if you're done at this point, we'll go ahead and just click close. And you can see that our three primary load cases have been added. We know that these are load cases because there will be a small L adjacent to each one of these. And at this point, we are ready to start modeling load items within each of these load cases. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.